sorry y'all I just woke up from a nap and I had to run do something and uh, then come back home but I wanted to tell the chosen ones about the importance of moving um, in silence and you know uh, not feeling bad about it you know here's the thing the world will tell you that you're not special and they treat you like you are special in a very horrible way as Shavi would say you're gonna tell me I'm not special but treat me different than every other person in the worst of ways so yes chosen when you're a celebrity in the spirit realm you are known by the devil you are known by the most high God for those who so pressed on God and Jesus Yeshua known known very well known might even live in the same palace that's how close we is anyway yes because you are that you have to move in silence you know what i'm saying and, I, and my husband he'll be like well, what not everybody loves to be i don't know because there are people who sat in my face there are people who paid my rent there are people who smiled in my face there are people who act like they're my friends there are people who have party with me there are people who have given me gifts that were not on my team so i don't have the fucking time to decipher you know it's like he does understand who he married because he goes oh when, when you're around the blessings flow and this and that and blah 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 and i don't be seeing it because i still be annoyed as fuck that i'm still on this planet truly you know he be seeing all the blessings and how they things be opening up for us and they be doing all this and i'd be like wow i'm glad you see it baby but if you see all of that then see the fact that there are hidden many 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 hidden enemies and here's the thing i'm not trying to be mean i'm not trying to you know i'm not trying to be like that with nobody but if i had hidden enemies in my own family you don't think that happened in yours i'm, I'm the chosen one right if you are who you say you are a superstar that have no fear because the cameras and the lights are here and the haters too no i'm sorry no i'm i get it i feel the love you know but i, I felt the love with some people who was doing black magic on me i felt the love with niggas that was doing magic on me while i was sleeping next to them in the bed so it's nothing wrong with moving in silence it's not gonna kill me to not tell you shit It's not gonna kill me. And on a side note, that's the that's one of the first lessons of, of womanhood that your your that your female ancestors should have with you. When they came to me on plant medicine, they was like, as a woman, there's just certain things that is nobody's business. And and feel no ways about it. Half these niggas out here lying. Everybody lying but you. You're the you're the, you're probably one of the most honest people on the fucking planet. On the fucking planet i'm probably one of the most honest people on the fucking planet so i don't owe you no truths about me i don't owe you no truths about what i got going on i don't owe you no truths about nothing because all of y'all do is lie so why do i i don't owe you shit as a woman as a grown woman as a divine being as a royal queen as a royal empress i don't owe you shit So that's one of the first things like when i when i met up with my female ancestors they were like just as a woman there's just a, a couple things that we just you need to talk to you about and certain things are just nobody's business you don't even have to lie because we know you don't like lying so just don't tell anybody anything so you don't like lying we know you don't like lying even though everybody else on this planet and everybody else they like lying they love lying you know what I'm saying? It's good. It's fine to them. You know what I'm saying? It's normal. They just do it. I mean, they really, really be lying. You know, I'm a good writer, but I'm not a real good liar like that. I'm a good writer. You don't have to think about that shit. And that's why y'all not good liars because y'all don't think about it. And then you spit them out and then you forget that you told somebody. And then I remember the lie you told me. And then you tell me something different. And then I realize that you lied. But because you're not a good liar, you don't remember the lie that you told. That's why you don't lie. Because it's hard to keep track. Especially when you make a lifestyle out of it. Especially when you make a character trait like when, when it becomes a person part of your personality you know what i'm saying you start telling too many lies and then it start people start poking holes in your lies you know what i'm saying are you turning here or here which one you doing because you know we, i know they put the fluoride in y'all water okay i didn't think so i know they did that to y'all they fucked y'all up i know they did it they put too much i mean they 
did it to everybody, but they put too much in Atlanta. They, yeah, they put too much fluoride in the water. Yep, they dumped you down real bad, and it shows in your driving, in your customer service, in the way you talk to people, in the way you handle things. <laughs> in a way that you can't see that even though you're in a black city, everybody here hates you because you're all crying in the bucket, so it don't even matter. You might as well be in a racist city. Oh, no, I forgot it's good for some of the dumb ones because the dumb ones hire the dumb ones and then they don't, they don't hire the smart ones. Okay, so you're good. You're safe. Because dummies can only hire dummies because if a dummy hire a smart person, it's going to reveal that, oops, I'm a dummy. I'm not smart at all. So that's why y'all had to chase me the fuck away. I get it. You know, I thought she was coming from my livelihood, but she was trying to preserve yours. <clears throat> I get it. A dummy can't hire a smart person because then it shows how dumb they really are. But as a woman, especially as a chosen one, just move in silence, baby. Just they be lying half the stuff they telling you about their lives they lying about it they lying baby they just lying they just lying and if you're like me you, you don't like lying so just don't tell them nothing but if you do tell them something tell them a lie uh, it's not my thing you know i mean i'm not saying you know take that to the most high because i know you know the most high don't like liars but everybody down here lying you know so i'm just saying if we if we basing it off of who everybody else i'm the least lying one <laughs> that's why I, god i gotta tell you I did, I told a little white lie, but I'm the least lying motherfucker. They all lying more than me, God. And you already told me I can't tell them no truths about what's really going on. You already told me that. I can't tell them what's really going on. I can't tell them. They're going to rush to copy. They're going to rush to kill it. They're going to rush to bomb it. They're going to rush to put a nuclear bomb on it. I can't tell them what's really going on. So here's the thing. If you can't lie, just don't tell them nothing. If you tell them something, tell them a lie they're lying to you they're lying to you baby they're lying about how much they making what they doing how they doing it how good their life is how how happy they are they lying they're lying that's all they do they sit around and lie that's why i realized about y'all Atlanta hoes and niggas you Atlanta hoes and niggas all y'all do is sit around and lie you know honestly when you guys tell me the sky is blue that's the one time i need to go check <laughs> 